Number two, here we are looking to solve. So this is a traditional one that is already in um, degree one. So all we can do is solve it like normal, subtract three to both sides. We get six X is equal to minus three. D divide the six to both sides. This does cancel, leaving you with X is equal to negative one half. This is one way to do it. Or you could pull out GCF. The GCF here was a three. We are left over with a two X plus one. And that's equal to zero. We set each term equal to zero. So three equals to zero. And we can say two X plus one equals to zero. Three can never become equal to zero. So we can just solve using two X plus one equals to zero. Minus one to both sides, this cancel, leaving with a two X equals to negative one. Divide by two, divide by two, you get X is equal to negative one half. Notice you get the same answer. For B, we want to put this in standard form, so we're going to minus 20x to both sides. Once we minus 20x both sides, we get 10x squared, plus this combined like terms gets you 35x is equal to zero. Once it get, gets to equal to zero, we can look to factor out the GCF here, which is 5x, leaving you with a 2x plus 7 equals to zero. We now set each term equal to zero, so 5x is equal to zero, 2x plus seven equals to zero. We divide by five to both sides, this cancel, leaving you with x is equal to zero. Minus seven to both sides, you get two x is equal to negative seven, divide by two, divide by two, this cancels, x is equal to negative seven over two. And for c, it equals to negative x squared, so we're gonna add x squared to both sides. The right hand side does cancel, leaving you with a 2x squared plus 16x plus 24 is equal to zero. Factor out the GCF here of two, leaving you with x squared plus 8x plus four equals to zero. Notice to solve this, you have to factor out the inside. So dash times dash is gonna be equal to this times this, which is four. Uh, dash plus dash is equal to the middle number of eight. So those two things are, what is that? Oh, sorry, this, this should be a 12, okay? And it has to be multiplying to make 12. And the two numbers here are six and two, six and two. We divide by that one X. So the factors here are X plus six and X plus two. Bring down that GCF of two. Now you set each term equal to zero, two equals to zero, X plus six equals to zero and x plus two equals to zero. Two can never be equal to zero, so that's nothing. We minus six to both sides, so we get x is equal to negative six. We minus two to both sides, that does cancel, x is equal to negative two. So your answers here are x equals to negative six and x is equal to negative two.